Hey guys, um, just want to do an updated vlog. I am uh, 13 weeks out now. Um, started my diet at 180, and yesterday morning weighed myself. Sunday morning, that's where I really keep track of my dates. Because Sunday is going to be my refeed day, so it basically tells me how much I'm going to be able to have, uh, depending on how I feel and what my weight's down. So, started my diet 16 weeks out at 180. Um, I dropped to 177 after one week. Uh, after two weeks, I was about 175 and a half. And then um, yesterday morning, I was about you know 174, you know 0.2. So still losing weight, still not doing any cardio. Um, so I had a nice refeed yesterday. I had a burger, a couple donuts. You know, felt great today, and was only up a half pound. So it tells me that my uh, my body needed it, and I was depleted. Uh, which is the point and uh, yeah so had a great refeed day yesterday and we're right back to it today um, so a couple questions that I've been getting um, from some of my friends and some people on Instagram that have been uh, just leaving comments or writing me direct messages was one um, who put together my diet so number one my coach is Kimmy Arnone she was a professional natural bodybuilder she uh, coaches several uh, natural pro athletes who compete in physique and bodybuilding. Um, we worked together last year and she helped me to my highest placings um, in men's physique. I uh, got two seconds last year, so we're going for first this year in a pro card. Um, so I, 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 we do it together. Um, through working with me last year, she got to know um, my body, what it needs macro-wise, and we've had a great base to start from last year, um, this year. So again, we started 16 weeks out on this diet and we started again my macros were at about 240 for protein um and low carb days um 160 carbs to 180 low carb days and then fats are at 80 so i have two of those a week monday and friday tuesday wednesday thursday up my carbs drop my protein drop my fats a little bit um same on saturday and sunday is a refeed day so protein drops a little bit fat drops a little bit carbs go up so um, I'm going to do that until my body is plateauing, which means it's going to stop losing weight because, you know, we got to make an adjustment. So we're going to go on that as long as we can. So, yeah, that's how I come up with my macros. It's what works for me. Uh, if you need help with that, I mean, I would love to work with you on that. So you could definitely can message me. I would love to put together a meal plan for you. I've got several people I'm working with right now um, after the holidays putting together meal plans, macro plans, and I want to help you guys so let me know how I can um, another question that I get is um, how do I figure out my training split meaning like what's my routine in the gym so when I did bodybuilding before um, the highest I placed in open was third um, and then I was really training legs heavy because I wanted to bring them up to match the rest of my body um, and just add more thickness so my training split when I did bodybuilding um, was Monday I did back, Tuesday I did legs that were quad and glute focused, um, Wednesday I did shoulders, Thursday I did arms, Friday I did uh, legs again that was hamstring focused and, uh, and calf focused, more the back of my leg and a little bit of glutes too. So I got in legs twice, okay, and then shoulders popped in on, on the weekend. So it's six day split, but I hit legs twice. Doing physique, you know, it's much more shoulders, chest, more upper body. Um, we wear board shorts when we compete. Um, some shows wear like these half shorts, so you still show some leg. So, um, but now my training splits changed because my, my goals for what I'm training for has changed. So now my split is I do chest on Monday. Uh, I'm sorry, take that back. I do back on Monday, chest on Tuesday, arms on Wednesday, all legs on Thursday, everything, quads, uh, uh, hamstrings, glutes, calves. Uh, Friday shoulders and then I will put in either another arm and chest day like usually combined on Saturday so I'll do a little um, chest and arm Saturday and take off Sunday um, if I'm feeling good sometimes I'll split up my chest and arm day so I'll do chest on Saturday arms on Sunday and not give myself a day off it just depends on what you need I mean I've been killing it for like I don't know geez like 14 days in a row so probably at some point this week I'm gonna take a day off and just let my body body rest um, so yeah, so for, for you guys, you should train, you know, 
everything, but I mean, give yourself maybe two days on something you want to bring up. So like for a guy, like if they, you know, they want bigger arms, like train arms twice a week. Um, just give yourself a couple of days in between for, um, you know, the delayed onset muscle soreness, the DOMS to go away. And then once you're not sore again, go ahead and train them. Um, you know, for girls, if they, you know, want to bring their butt up or their legs up or whatever, you know, train legs more than once a week. Um, I just wouldn't train them if they're sore. Let them fully recover, let that soreness be gone, and then and then go from there. So um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Pretty happy with with my with my diet so far. Um, I mean, I'm starting to see the differences. I mean, my chest starting to get a little more more uh, striations in there. My shoulders definitely triceps losing some fat behind the arms. Those are coming in more. So. You know, it's fun because as you go each week, you're going to notice little differences in your body of, of where you're losing fat first and, you know, where the last places are you lose fat. For me, the last places I, I lose fat are in my quads and my butt. You know, my, my, my upper body gets lean pretty quick, then my abs show more, and then finally it, it works down into my lower body. So everybody is different for where they lose fat. So it's a good thing to go through a diet and kind of learn yourself and say, you know, where you're losing fat first, and then it's, it's, it's easier to kind of track your progress as you go. Um, so again, just want to thank uh, BPI Sports. They've been really helping me with a lot of supplements. Um, and I want to thank Rocket Fit for hooking me up with some apparel. Um, I love those guys too. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments or things you want answered on my next vlog next week, just leave them on the bottom here. And leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you uh, soon. Alright, thanks guys. Have a great week and uh, thanks for watching.